Hello everyone. Welcome to this video of Catsim Technologies and TIT. So today we are going to take a very important update that had come in the newly launched Revit 2026. And the important update is all about the Topo Solid. Now, the existing users who have been using Revit 2024 and then they have upgraded to 25 and now in 26, they definitely have seen a progressive change in the way the Topo Solids work today in the various versions. So, we saw the first update of Topo Solid, the previous version, how the definitions of Topo Solid has changed from the earlier one. In the previous versions of Revit, the Topo Solid was called as Topo Surface. But this update, this enhancement has been made in order to make the designers, specifically the civil engineers, the landscape designers, and the earthquake, earthwork calculations people who work in the BIM project. This particular update is very important. Now let's see compare how the topo solid is created between the two versions so here in this video we are comparing the revit 2025 and the revit 2026 to give you a good idea about what exactly has changed during the two versions now here you can see that i have a file which is basically of revit 2026 so, in this file, we have a Topo Solid, which we have created earlier. So, this Topo Solid creation method, probably you might be knowing how the Topo Solid is created. If you have worked in the earlier version, the method of creating the Topo Solid is the same as in 2026 as compared to 2025. So we'll create a separate video of creating Topo Solid in 2026. But here we are talking about the enhancement or the update that has come in Revit 2026 as compared to 2025. So, so now let's quickly go through the enhancements that uh, has been brought in the Topo Solid 2026 and what why it is important for architects, engineers, and designers to use these enhancements. Now, first, if you look into this Topo Solid, let me make the 3D view of it. So, go to the view, and then let's say I have a 3D view. And let me move this uh, project browser here. And then let me put it right here. Okay. So, we have a topo solid which is of a type of topo solid grassland 1200 millimeter let me go through the properties first with the edit type and let's see what are the properties it has for the topo solid so in the structure you have this finish that is a grass of 50 mm thickness at the top and then we have the substrate in the structure of sand and earth which is 150 mm and 1000 mm respectively so there are two sections to layers inside the core boundary and at, at the above there is a finish of 50 mm grass the other thing that we can see over here is the contour display so here what we have done is we have created a contour display of 100 mm for the primary contours and 50 mm for the secondary contours now one very important thing that we can use in order to see the elevations or the gradation of this particular topo solid is by using this tool called label contours so i use this label contours and click a point from the left to the right and i can see the topo lines over here so these are the major surfaces and the minor surface contours so here we are it's very clearly seen here and there's another line that i can see here is the property line of the the entire project where we are supposed to create the our model so here if i click on the property line i can see that the property line measures at 836 meters square 
Another thing that you can see in the topo solid is the perimeter, area, volume, and the elevation that you can see. Okay, now first what we need to do is we need to understand what are the first enhancements that we have. So if you go to the massing and site for the topo solid, you find that there are two methods of creating the topo solid. It is one from sketch and one is from the import, which is not changed in the 2026 version. Now, if you select the topograph over here, the triple solid. So, here if you go with the modify elements, you find that there are certain points over here for the elevations. So, one of the changes is that now you can have more than 10,000 points in the topo solid, which is much more accurate. The surface can be much more accurate and more precise. So, this is something that uh, uh, one aspect of the topo solid that has been changed. The other thing is that in the shape editing over here, this is already there about the snap to editors and line, then these were already there. So, let me go with and select it again. And here you can find in the topo surface that there is one option called subdivide. So, the major change over here in, for the topo solid is the subdivide command. Now, previously in Revit 2025, we used to use the subdivide command and create the subdivisions, but the subdivisions were a part of the topo solid and they did not have an, the exact method of cutting the topo solids along with the subdivisions. Now, why we create a subdivisions like roads or any kind of landscape structures like rivers, lakes or anything that we want to create, we can do it by the subdivision method. Now, what does it mean? It means that let's say if we create a subdivide option right now. So, let's create a subdivide in 2026. Use this tool and let's create a road which is enclosed over here. So, I create this boundary line and here I create a rectangle here. And let's say I take an offset of, let's say, 20 meters or let's say 15 meters. So, 15 meters may be a bigger one. Let's say 5 meters is the boundary. So, let me have it as 4 meters, right. So, I have this a 4 meter offset over here across, let's say, a small road that I want to create across. And now I see that this surface that I have created, now if you select it, a new contextual tab will be displayed as well as the properties are mentioned over here. And now you can assign a separate type properties here or a type over here. Let's say I can have a separate type here for this to define the particular subdivision or particular rule. So here let's say if I have this edit type here and so this is this is a part of it and apart from that what I can do is here what I can see at this moment of this particular subdivision here. So I can basically go to the edit type and I can basically there is one option called uh, contour display and other thing. I can change the structures and I can give this subdivision offset. Now, this is, let's say if I create a subdivision offset here and let's say I create a subdivision offset of minus 100. Now, what will happen is, you know, if you look into the 3D view here and this particular subdivision offset it has gone minus 100 below the zero level. So, if I select it again, let's say, let me select this subdivisions and let me put it as 300, 300 above. So, it moves above it and if I want to have it as 350 concrete, so I can see that. And now you can see this path is already inherited into the, the surface of the contour of the topo solid. Now, previous versions did not have such capabilities of uh, selecting a different type or, you know, changing the offsets 
within a properties palette. They have their own way of changing the subdivisions. Now, other thing that you will see in this subdivision is, so if you hide this subdivision right now, so you can select and you can see elements over here. So you can see the part is excavated. That means the subdivision is cut over here, which was not possible is 2025. Now, let's quickly, I'm undoing the action. Now, quickly see what does it mean, how it was in the previous version in 2025. Now here in the screen, we can see that we have a Revit 2025 and with the same model that we have used in the 2026 version. Now let's see about how to, the way of creating the subdivision in 2025 is and how it is different from in the new version. Now let's go with uh, the masking and site tab, but, but let's select the topo solid here and choose the subdivide tool. Now here, the moment you choose a subdivide tool, unlike, uh, you know, you in the 2026, what you have seen, there was a contextual tab. Now there is something called modify, create subdivision boundary, which is different from what it is now in 2026. And then you don't have this properties palette you have, but you don't have a separate type to do. So we, you have this subdivide height and you have the materials that you can assign. So as of now, you can see here the difference between the 25 and 26 is there is no type properties that you cannot select a type. Type from the type selector. And then we have a subdivision divide height, which is different from what is in the new version. Now let's start to create this. Uh, let's say we create the same here, the subdivision and uh, let's put an offset here. Of let's say four meters that we had taken in the previous uh, in the in the 2026. So let's put it as this. So you have a four meter boundary. So then you finish it here. You can see the thickness that you had given is 304.8 millimeters. And if you want to give a separate height over material over here, so you can select the material here and and then uh, you can give a different material. Let's say asphalt is the material that I want to give. And uh, so here we are. And uh, another thing that it was there is the inherent count contours. So you don't have this checkbox now. By default now, the model is inherited to the topo surface. Now, if you want to move it down or uh, any height, let's say you have got the subdivision height as 304.8 and if I give it as 100 so you find that you know the thickness is now changed so there is no way of giving the offset value in the previous version so this is and again if you select it as a unit over here you have this hide it view you can hide it but there is no cut or other things the other thing that you would see here is the subdivision that you create is not a subcategory like for example, in in the 2026, it is a category that is under the topo solid category, it becomes a subcategory where you can control it. But in 2025, if you go to the visibility graphics over right over here, you find that under the topo solid category, you don't have a subcategory of subdivision. But here in the 2026 version, if you see that you know go to the visibility graphics override a dialog box in the topography so i'm coming here in the topography category there is a subcategory that is will be can be seen over here so so under the topo solid here we have so you have the subcategory subdivisions over here where you can basically use it to put it off and on. So this is one of the examples that we have seen the comparatives between the 2025 and 26 version.